Hey, hey, hello. Today we are going to continue with the concept of electro electrostatics. See? Ah, uh, but today we are going to focus mainly on the law of conservation of charge. We are going to also do some calculation. Firstly, we must know on how to state the law conservation conservation of charge charge it states total charge in an isolated system conserved Total charge in isolation system are conserved. Then now, which formula are we going to use? Is this one Q nu is going to be Q1, Q2 divided by 2. You see, what I'm going to do is going to give you two charge, sorry, two charges one which is positive and another one which is negative these two charges they should be identical you see but let's say this one is positive in size you see this one is positive this one is negative let's say this one is two nanocoulomb then this one is let's say it's minus three nanocoulomb then Firstly, first question, I ask you, let's say, calculate the new charge, the new charge. If, let's say, these two, they attract each other, after a while, they repair. How are you going to determine that? Use this formula. Firstly, let's say, here we have A. Here we have B. We must convert this nano into coulomb. Say we have QA. We are going to say 2 for nano is times 10 to the power of minus 9. Don't forget. Minus 9. See, we also have B, which is going to be minus 3 times 10 to the power of minus 9 coulomb. Then at this point, we can then use our formula, which is going to be Q nu. We have Q A plus Q B divided by two. Let us substitute everything times ten minus nine plus minus three times ten to the power of minus nine. Divide everything by two. Then we take a calculator at this point. We're going to have 2 times 10 power minus 9 plus negative 3 times 10 power minus 9. Then we divide everything by 2. We are going to get new charge which is minus 5 times 10 to the power minus 10 one kilo see you see so simple now now let's see i ask you the second question now we know that these two electrons let me say now sorry these two charges before we had a plus together with a negative charge before then during they will attract each other then the electrons will move from B into A after a while we are going to have a situation which is like this now it is negatively charged each will have minus 5 times 10 to the power of minus 10 say this one you see 
a and b will have negative 5 times 10 to the power of minus 10 see that new charge now let's say if they ask us to calculate the amount now amount of charge let's say ask us to calculate sorry sorry calculate amount of charge transferred to let's say charge a how are you going to answer this question so simple firstly we are going to use this one delta you see then we are going to take a new charge then separate it with charge of a you see new charge minus charge of a it's like after minus before after we got negative 5 times 10 to the power of minus 10 for a you see before it was 2 times 10 to the power of minus 9 what too long at this point we can then use what our calculator which is going to be negative 5 times 10 minus 10 minus again 2 times 10 power minus 9 minus 9 we get we get negative 2 comma 5 and 10 to the power of minus 9 what Q long we get this answer you see lastly what I'm going to ask you is mm, let me erase first let me erase uh yeah let me erase here okay okay almost done I don't want to remove the new charge but okay yeah okay the the third question now the third question I want us to calculate now calculate number of electrons transfer transfer transferred to a how are you going to take in this question for this one we are then going to use the print the, the principle of quantization of charge you see we are going to use the principle now of quanti quantization of charge which states all charges are integer integer multiple inti sorry integer integer multiple of electron charge see which is given by q 
is equals to n q e you see whereby our q e now our q let me write it here whereby our q e is the charge charge of an electron see charge of an electron which is always times one negative 1.6 minus 19 kilo then n this is what we want the number the number of electron that n stands for number of electron see then this qe is going to be charge of an electron charge of electron you see then where we see q that's where we are going to try to 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 substitute what the this amount this amount the amount of charge transfer which is you see which is this number now we are then going to use this formula for this formula where we see they want us to calculate the number they want us to find this n you see we already have the amount of charge transferred we got negative 2.5 times 10 to the power minus 9 then we don't have n do we have charge of an electron yes is always 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 for us to find n we divide throughout by one time 1 comma 6 sorry we divide by 1 comma 6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 then for n we are going to get let's see 2 comma negative 2 comma minus 9 k okay. divide by negative 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 let's see what are we going to get uh, okay let me round it to 2 5 comma 6 times 10 to the power 28 watt electron let me say electrons you see then that's how we answer this three question then for this uh lesson of today as a learner you must know on how to state the law of conservation of charge and also know on how to calculate using that formula of q1 plus 22 divided by 2 lastly you need to know the principle of conservation of quantization of charge as well as on how to use this formula then yeah lastly bear in mind for you to calculate the amount of charge we always take the newly charged and subtract it with what the before in this case i have i wrote a then you take the new which is this one you see then from there you work it up until you get your final answer you see i thank you